Well, concerns about COVID-19 continue to grow. Now the entertainment industry is being hit with concert cancellations in many parts of the world. Festivals like Coachella are even possibly being postponed to a later date. Well, we're learning that several shows are on hold right now because of the coronavirus. The psychological aspect of it has been really difficult to deal with. As far as, you know, work goes, obviously there's no shows, there's no upcoming concerts, there's nothing entertainment wise coming up anytime soon. So it, it's very bumming not having something to look forward to. I feel like with what I, what we do, we're always on the go. We're always on the move. We're always looking for that next thing. And right now it's like we're at a standstill. So it's almost like, what do we do? You know, like where do we go from here when we're so used to always go, go, go. So I feel like a lot of us are just kind of in this like same mindset where we just feel stuck. As the world comes together to stop the spread of the coronavirus, mass gatherings such as concerts and music festivals have come to a complete stop, leaving thousands of independent contractors out of jobs. Jay Parada is one of the many concert photographers switching to different industries to maintain an income. Over the last two weeks, I had the pleasure to connect with a handful of other content creators to understand how these individuals are overcoming the job loss as a result of this pandemic. Through their stories, we're learning the drawbacks and the silver linings and how other concert photographers can continue to thrive outside the photo pit. While producing, you know, we're, we're still taking precautionary actions. We're not, you know, staying in close contact with each other if there's more than, you know, two or three people, we're making sure that we're socially distancing and making sure that everybody's still being safe while still producing. Aside from working on concert media coverage, Jay is a content editor for the commercial media agency Backstory Creative, where workflow has condensed to more remote projects and an upcycling of new ones. This has been a common trend among other creators, where working on new skills and projects has been a way to stay motivated during this quarantine. Pretty much all my jobs got canceled. So up to this point in time, I've really just been in my crib. You know, I'm trying to stay safe as much as possible. So I'm doing my own personal work out of my own studio. So working on more of my own creative projects or like, you know, one-offs, but then also taking this time to focus on learning and getting better at things that I would normally try to put off. In terms of film, I do want to talk to my other friend. Um, his name's Cruz. Um, him and I have been working together very closely with music videos and like storyboarding and film direction, what you want to do. So we've been sort of compiling together um, a bunch of ideas on how we could take this chance of this pandemic and sort of turn it into an opportunity to thrive and to grow. Because once this is all over, we definitely want to come out of this um, with a new skill. But I think overall, like for, for creatives right now, you should really build your skill set. You know, like if you're uncomfortable doing portraits with people, try a FaceTime portrait. You know, like it can't hurt. I know there's like a lot of like, why are people doing that? But I don't think there's anything wrong with letting your creativity out however you can. Hey, it's Tony with the latest rock news. Wondering about when we might return to concert venues to see our favorite acts? New York Times Magazine recently polled five public health experts to get their predictions, with one of the experts chiming in that he doesn't see concerts returning before fall 2021. With the list of postponed or canceled concerts reaching over 800 different events, the future of the concert industry becomes more unknown to a number of content creators. Yeah, I mean, fall of 2021, like, that's nuts, you know, to even think about that. It's crazy. Yeah. It's possible, you know, but in my opinion, once there's a vaccine and it's widely distributed, that's the only time we're going to get back to tour. It could be fall of 2022 for all we know. Hopefully they find the vaccine sooner. Um, I think October timetable is very, very, like, risky. Even for, like, Coachella and Ultra, like, they're, they're all going to be pr in a pretty crappy place if they can't hold anything in October. I hope, trying to be optimistic here, that smaller venues will reopen their doors, just maybe not the major festivals, by fall 2021. 
Uh, I know a lot of places are starting to implement uh, temperature scanners at doors, like at my mom's work, which I think could be a cool thing that festivals could implement to allow the reopening of festivals sooner. Staying optimistic. I hope that is kind of what is going to happen. Working at the agency, we've had a shift in focus as far as meeting our clients' expectations and meeting their their needs. So right now is a critical time for small businesses to get customers. Like it's it's difficult for them to keep the clients that they had just because nobody is really working right now. So the economic shift has been really impactful towards small businesses, and it's also dictated kind of more or less the content that we're producing for them. So. In essence, the shift has been more or less on like, how can we retain our clients and how can we give back more than we have been before? As the United States continues to face uncertain times, we have seen a spark of giving within our communities. Media creators across the country have used their platform to help out their communities or help out other photographers in similar situations. I think, you know, working on different programs that we can do using the tools that we have you know everyone's on ig live so being able to still like um use that for good so with that we did a cameras and convos on ig live two weeks ago with three different photographers they talked about their experiences we had questions for them and then we had like a whole q a session for that like hour long working on that has definitely helped like keep my motivation up keep like the creative juices flowing the more things that are out there to help people the better just because you can never have too much help when there's so many people going through it. I know I can't do too so much, but like, how can I help? And so because of that, I was like, you know what, I'm going to make, and I know I've never created a GoFundMe before this moment. Cause it's like, this is one of those times it's like, regardless of if someone's going to, you know, take initiative to donate or whatever, like I need to do something to help because if I can help somebody, you know, that can help them be in a better place.